Hey, welcome back to Midas Letter. My guest this segment is Alfred Wong. Sorry, he's the president of Micron Waste Technologies, currently trading on the CSE under the symbol MWM. Alfred, thanks for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's talk a bit about Micron Waste Technologies. What is it? What does it do? So Micron Waste Technologies is a Vancouver-based uh, clean tech company that's focused on the treatment of organic waste. Mm -hmm. uh, and since late 2017, Micron Waste and Aurora Cannabis have been working together to develop a clean waste management solution specific to the cannabis industry. Okay, and so why would the cannabis industry need a clean waste solution? Uh, it's actually interesting because right now under uh, Health Canada guidelines, the the rules for the destruction of cannabis waste is very archaic. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially what uh, many cannabis cultivators do right now is to mix it with kitty litter. I kid you not. Kitty and litter. <laughs> kitty litter. Uh, it is the things. cannabis industry. Yeah. And, and the interesting thing about kitty litter is that with the uh, deodorizing capabilities, it, it masks the smell of cannabis waste. And you know cannabis is a very smelly plant. Mm -hmm. Cannabis mm -hmm. waste is, is, is also very smelly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it needs to be mixed with kitty litter before it's disposed of in landfills. Okay. But if you can imagine, uh, it, once it does that, it's, it's no longer biodegradable and it's, uh, very has a negative impact on the environment. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, 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 work with cannabis cultivators to operate on site, treat the cannabis waste, and make sure that uh, all the chimeric cannabis compounds are removed from the waste stream and be able to uh, have the cannabis cultivator really work efficiently in their process. Okay, so you, I guess you're talking about all of the plant material that is discarded in the production and the concentration in the packaging process. Correct. So why wouldn't they just compost that like they would do any other wasted sort of agricultural byproduct? No, correct. And, and compost has been around for hundreds of years. I personally believe in compost. Uh, I have a, uh, a food cycler at home. It's a nifty $400 machine from Amazon. Right. And I use it to teach my kids the benefits of organic waste digestion. Okay. But from, from an operational point of view, uh, we felt that our process, which is an aerobic digestion process, which breaks down organic waste within 24 to 40 hours, is most flexible for mm -hmm. the cannabis industry. It's, it's well suited to adapt to the growing cannabis industry. And for composting, typically in take uh, uh, from, from, from weeks to months in order to process. Right, space. okay, so it's a time thing. It is. Uh, then, so it's cannabis in, what is it that comes out and what do you do with what the end product is? So our value proposition is, is really on recycling water. Uh, our, our methodology extracts water from the, the cannabis plant, which is 80% water, mm -hmm. and uh, we essentially recycle the water back into agriculture operations just to streamline costs as well um, and, and for environmental benefits. Uh, there are some biosolid residuals that comes out uh, uh, as of any organic matter, and uh, essentially what, what, that is an area of active uh, research mm -hmm. within our group. Uh, what's interesting is that we feel it's actually perfectly suited for composting. Right. The moisture level is around 40 to 60 percent, perfect for composting. So you can kind of think of us as a uh, pre-treatment step, a 24-hour pre-treatment step where we remove the cannabis compounds, recycle the water back to the cultivator, and then have this nice biosol ready mm -hmm. for composting. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, disposal services for the plant matter of, of the cannabis grower. Correct, correct. And so do you charge, is it sort of like a service model? How do you guys make money? Uh, it's a service model, so we intend to lease our units with the cannabis cultivator. Uh, we provide all the maintenance, we provide all the uh, enzymes and microbes to be able to break down the cannabis waste and uh, be essentially to become the partner of, of, of waste disposal within the cannabis industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many are you partnered up with anybody besides Aurora at this point? And is this something that you get, you're getting a good reception from, from other ACMPR growers? So, so our focus uh, as a company is actually in, in three target sectors. Uh, the cannabis industry is one, the supermarket is, is another, as well as the quick service restaurant industry. Hmm. So for the past 12 months or so, we've, we've actually proven out a concept with a uh, supermarket distribution chain in, uh, in the lower mainland BC. Uh, and essentially we've been handling about half a ton of organic waste every day, mm -hmm. turning that into clean water. And it's actually really important to, to, to mention about the clean water because uh, essentially our system treats the effluent so that it meets municipal sewage bylaw standards. Mm -hmm. We're not just dumping toxic or, or, or dirty water down the drain. Mm, that's interesting. Um, so then what's the, uh, what's the footprint of the machine? How do you, how do, what, is, what does the machine look mm -hmm. like? 
So you can think of a machine uh, as comprised of two parts, both of which sits directly at the cannabis cultivator or at the client. So the first part is your uh, uh, typical digester uses a mechanical and biological process to break down the organic waste and actually gets pumped into our second part of the solution, which is a 20-foot shipping container. Uh -huh. And that houses our entire wastewater treatment plant. I see. And through a four-step process, we actually extract all the uh, organic matter and the cannabis compounds are removed. And so what's, what's the result is, is, is clean water, clean gray water. Mm -hmm. You don't want to drink it. Right. Um, but, but the clean water can be reused back into agriculture processes. It can be used for, for toilets, you know, washing sinks, uh, okay. washing floors as well as being discharged safely down the drain. So could this, is this something like, I guess you've got one revenue stream is service for cannabis growers, but I guess you also have a, is it a service for supermarkets or do they actually buy a unit and it sits there at the back of the store and they process all their waste and recover the water and all that good stuff on site? Is that, is that another sort of major revenue stream? Our, our proposed revenue stream is to lease the units to our customers so ah. that there's no, um, it's not showing up on their, on their Assets. Uh, right. it's, it's just it's just from from a cost perspective, and the cost is where it, it's actually really interesting because when people think about clean water, the cleaner the water that you make it, the more costly it is. Mm -hmm. And while that's true, I think what the breakthrough that our company has made was really to really find the business model that made it more cost effective for the customer to use our system. And 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 for the last twelve months, we've had you know hard numbers that we're saving about twenty five to thirty five percent in 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 monthly uh, cost savings for our client. Oh. Uh, and that's comprised of two things. One mm -hmm. is the rising landfill tipping fees uh, every year. The landfill tipping fees to, to dump away your garbage mm -hmm. grows higher. And second is actually the cost of hauling. Hauling your, your organic waste from, from your facility to the landfill or to a centralized, even composting facility. There's a, there's a trucking component to sure. it. So for us to say that we're going to operate on site, uh, treat the organic waste, it turns into clean water, they don't have to worry about it, they don't have to pay any uh, excess fines uh, to the, to the municipality for exceeding uh, sewage bylaw standards or to pay for trucking. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, well that's a great introduction. We're going to leave it there for now. We're going to come back to you in a couple of quarters and see how you're making out. Thanks for coming in today. It's a pleasure to be here.